This is Marcus Kova with Studio MMA and MMA Net, and we're here with Manny Gamburian, who wins a unanimous decision against another judoka in Omegawa. First of all, congratulations, potential fight of the night. Uh, did you realize how good the fight was while you were fighting? Oh yeah, of course. I mean, uh, like I expect anything from this guy, but I wasn't expecting most of the things he was doing. First of all, he was fighting southpaw, and second of all, heart of a lion, chin, granite chin. I know some guys that train with you, including uh, Andy the Korean from, uh, from uh, SK Golden Boy, and uh, some of the guys that train with you, they say, and Georgie say, you're one of the hardest hitting 145ers out there. <laughs> did, did, you didn't expect him to take some of those shots, huh? I mean, I, I know I, I hit really hard, but homeboy took a hitting. I hit him a couple of times. After the leg kick, I kicked him again, and I punched him. He's just not going down. I'm like, I'm all, I must do something wrong. He goes, you're not doing wrong. The guy has chin of a granite. So when you hit someone like that, you hit flash punches. You know they're connecting with full power. Is it frustrating? Kind of, you know, like you can't finish the guy. You hit him clean, like wobbled. He doesn't, he doesn't see anything want to go on. I'm still punching him, and it's not, you can't finish him. He kind of frustrated you. So I took my time, you know. I didn't want to pace myself, so I took my time. I had a very smart fight. I'm very thankful, you know, for my coaches, myself, that I've had a very, very smart fight. And. Um, you, you train up at SK Golden Boy as well. You're a judoka originally. Now, combining the wrestling with the judo, you, you had some nice takedowns and, and slams even. Do, do you feel it's a good combination between the judo and the, and the wrestling? I mean, a lot of people doesn't know about him. He's a legit judo guy. He's an Asian champion. I mean, you can't, you can't mess around with the Asian champion. It's like very, very high level judo. I mean, I, I promised myself, I'm like, he's not going to judo toss me. If anyway, I'm going to judo toss him. So I worked really hard on my wrestling. I'm like, I'm going to clinch this guy and I'll take him down with double leg. So I got the best training partners in the SK Golden Boys and the Dermangian. I got a lot of Olympians, I got a lot of world champions. So, man, it doesn't get better than this. And you also have another Olympian in Ronda Rousey that trains with you. How is it to train with a female? Now, the Armenian culture in general is pretty macho, and you have a great team up in, in Glendale. How is it to train with a female? And, and you know, someone who comes in who's he's, she's not one of the masculine feminine, she's a feminine female in, in many ways. Let me correct you. She's a female outside the, outside the cage. <laughs> she's a guy. She's an animal. She's phenomenal when she's training. She fights real as he gets. I mean, she's a threat for anyone. I mean, no one's going to beat her. Even Including Chris Cyborg? No one can beat her. I mean, the work that she puts on, the way she works out, the heart, the anger, technique, it's just, I'm not saying she's my training partner, she's my, one of my good friends, my girl. It's just, you don't believe me, come train with her. You feel how good she is in the ground or stand up. And you're still saying stand up as well? Amazing. Now, I've trained with, with female training partners as well. How is it? Do you go in a spar with her and, and do you bang with her when you're sparring with her? Or is it hard to hit someone in the face when, when, they're, when they're female? I don't spar with her. I can't spar with Ronda Rousey. I can judo toss her. I can wrestling her. I can grapple with her, but I can't spar with her. Does she ever judo toss you? Of course. Of course. <laughs> she got, dude, she's an Olympian. Yeah, yeah. She's got bronze medal in the Olympics. That's no joke at all. You got to be real deal to place in the Olympics. Talking about being a real deal, you fought all the real deals in the UFC, from Nate Diaz to Jose Aldo. You, you fought, you fought them all. Um, what's next you, for you, and what do you want next? Whatever the UFC, Lorenzo, Dana, Joe Silva, and Sean Shelby wants me to do, I follow the rules. So they call me. They're like, "Man, you're fighting this date. This is the opponent. Thank you very much. It's lined up. Let's do it." This fight was in your hometown, as close as you can get from Glendale at the Staples Center in Los Angeles. You have a big following, and especially in the Armenian community, they were down here when you walked in. How does it feel to fight at home? feels amazing. Like I said, I've been fighting for 15, 16 years now. Never fought in LA. Last time I fought in close to LA was San Pedro. Now LA, home of the champs, Lakers, and LA Kings. It doesn't get better than this. I want to thank God for everything. Manny Gamboros, appreciate the time. Thank you very much. Looking forward to seeing you again. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Thank you. I'm oh, my God. Programmet presenteras av Betsafe.com.